What's up guys and welcome to Firewatch. And this is a game that I've been really eagerly anticipating over the last few months. It's very graphically gorgeous. It's apparently a really interesting different plot. But that being said, I don't really know anything about it. I haven't seen anybody play it. I just, I have nothing. I haven't read anything. I'm going into this completely blind because I want to experience it firsthand and to share that with you guys. So that being said, I don't want to see any spoilers in the comments. I'm giving fair warning at the beginning of the video. If anybody posts any spoilers, they will be banned from the channel as I do with all of these story based games and I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough so I'm going to post four one hour long videos on the channel sporadically over the next few weeks but other than that let's begin. Campo Santo presents I can't think of anything else they've made this may be their first game incorporation with Panic Inc which is sometimes a good thing I mean if they haven't made any bad games in the past this could be awesome. I really hope it's awesome. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. No voices? Okay, looks like I'm gonna be doing some reading. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. This is a very different way of telling a story. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You. You're pretty. Oh man, there's actually decisions and stuff like this? Okay, so I'm drunk, and we're gonna go with... Shit, these are both pretty- this feels like honey pop. These are terrible options. Um, so, what's, like, your major? You slur the word major, and it smells like cores. <laughs> you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. You sniff the air. T Toxicology? <laughs> Was that a burn, you asked? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you were Julia's boyfriend. Way to go, Henry. Way to go, me. Am I Henry? Oh, geez, I don't know. Oh, okay, we're just- we're just gonna pick up. I can use objects. My backpack. Okay. Got my backpack. Oh, cool. So this doesn't even really start in the forest like you see in the trailers. This is some- some backstory to this. Okay. Interesting. Truck bed. Load gear. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm getting out of here. Here's my junk. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket, or you adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Oh man, I, why is this game making me feel things? I gotta pick between a dog already? I'm, I'm really moving through this relationship quickly. Oh man, I love beagles and I love German Shepherds. The one thing when I read about this, um was that she wants to bring the beagle to class, that doesn't really matter, but it says nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. I don't want anything bad to happen to Julia, so should we go with, yeah, let's get Mayhem for her safety. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. I really like this already. 1979, so that's four years later? You talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I are some a couple of little idiots, uh, that would be pretty good one day, why rush? Oh geez, now I need to, I just got a pet, now I need to have kids? Um. Oh crap. Uh, why, why rush it? You know what, let's just... She looks away, out toward the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. <laughs> Don't worry, you assure her. 
You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. <laughs> one day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. I wonder if uh, Julia's my truck. Is that, is that you, Julia? Do I put stuff in you? Okay. Uh, thoroughfare trailheads. No fireworks. Warning. Recommended for inexperienced hikers. You're in their country, this bear country. Do not forget to check in. Okay. You see what I mean? Look at how pretty this is. I mean, it's not it's not great right now. We're kind of uh, in the in the thick of it, but it, it gets amazing. I, I'm really happy with this game. 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. So this is a year after we got engaged. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You ignore her, or you get mad. Oh. I don't want to get mad at her when she's drunk. It's probably not a great idea. Let's just ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this isn't... Okay, this walk isn't in between the story. The story is being recounted as I'm walking, so this is a different time and place. Interesting, okay. And it's evening by the looks of it, so we've been walking for ages. And it said that it wasn't for inexperienced hikers, that it was a bit of a, a bit of a trot. Two forks, fire lookout eight miles ahead. Okay. Space bar to climb over objects. Oh yeah. Hmm. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Go, go, mayhem. Mayhem runs away. May me move. Fuck. D -d Dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. If I had picked the beagle, would have he defended us? Are you fucking kidding me right now? I called this. I called it, and our dog mayhem was useless. I haven't- I don't even think I've started the game yet and this is bullshit. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough, you cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job, agree if she commutes back and forth. Couldn't we just move? Yale's a big deal. What, what do I have going for me? All I do is drink, apparently. Um, I guess we could agree if she commutes. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you if you won't move. Uh, you tell her not to pass up what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. I guess that's okay. Long distance for a while, maybe? Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Research. She didn't remember she had applied loan... Okay. Happily loaned them to him just two days prior. So is she losing her mind? She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. We should talk to somebody about this. This is serious. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it secret for now. What is this story right now? Still have my wedding ring. Okay. Okay, that's getting blurred. That's, that's some dick. Okay. 
<laughs> don't forget to censor that. I had better not forget to censor that. I don't think it's a big deal. It's just kind of a, a line. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. Aw, oh, poor puppers. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. So Julia's doing better, I guess? 1987. Julia's affection gets worse. Shit. She can remember things in her class, her research- She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Is this game really going to make me feels in the prologue? You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten her day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests Julia should live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Uh, you decide to move her into a full time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I would rather take care of her by myself. I can't put her in a home, she's my wife. What else do I have to do? Apparently I don't have a job. Do I go down there or over here? I'm gonna guess I go up here. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we're still walking and it looks like it's uh, the next day. So we've we been walking for, it said eight miles, didn't it? I don't think it would take, mul whoa, that's a moose. Or a uh, deer? Yeah, you're a deer by the looks of it. Hello, are you gonna attack me? No, run away majestically. An elk? I don't know, they all look very similar. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Oh, I don't want there to be like a fire and have her stuck. I'm going to trust that she sleeps. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. on a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. I think that's a lot. I think .03 is the legal limit. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. So that's my wife's sister. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And I'm guessing that job is a fire marshal or a forest ranger or whatever you would call somebody that sits in this tower. Enter the lookout tower. Okay, that was a really cool way to go through a prologue. It was only reading, but I feel like that was such a story. Oh man, I'm already super impressed with this game. Moon is out, so have we been walking for two days? It's gotta be, oh, there's another tower over there. Are there more? I guess that would make sense. There would be towers all throughout the forest, right? I wouldn't be the only person in this entire forest. With some propane tanks. Uh, everything's boarded up. Looks like real shithole. Motion blur. I'll have to turn that off later. Turn on the power. I'm gonna guess that's that button that just flicked up. Hey, there we go. Hello, home sweet home. Tower? Hello, robot in my tower. What? Hello? Do I have a... Two Forest oh. Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh, a radio. That makes far more sense than a personalized robot in my tower. Uh, hello? Your lights are on. That's, that's creepy. Oh, 
She must be the one in the other tower. I, I can't see anymore because I'm all... Okay, hold left shift to activate radio. Um, hello? Uh, left shift talk. Um, hello? Oh, Whatever okay, cool. Is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days. Go so ahead. I don't really follow whatever. Two days, I was right. right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then. Are can you I drunk? Sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, okay, I only have a limited amount of time to reply. Uh, you killed your three ex husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Um, I'm gonna guess you're a mass murderer. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Am I right? Bravo, Henry. Would she tell me? Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Cool. Welcome to the job. <laughs> it's just that easy. I was like, you're right. Okay, go away. Day one. Kind of looks like, um, Sorry, Team well, Fortress. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, Julia? Oh, there's me and my wife. Of course, her face is covered. I am a handsome looking guy. Look at that beard. Okay, we'll take this. All right, what do you want, woman? I can't even remember her name already. Uh, sorry, guess I slept hey, in. Sorry, Delilah. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. The map? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? So smoke? Is that good? Are those fucking- Fireworks? West. West. N to use compass. Why would N be compass? Oh no, west facing window. That's a. Uh, that's. That's north. I need you to confirm. Do you west? see West. I'm working on it. Woman, calm down. I don't see. I thought I saw them over here. But this is west. Seriously, oh, I hear them. Are you seeing this? Will you calm your tits? Wait, I think I saw them. I think. Oh, yep, they're there. I see them. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. That's, that's just great. Like, kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Can I kick the shit out of them? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Safe. Secure. Convenient. Smart. <laughs> uh, let's go with secure. secure. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, um, this is awesome. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff here. Can I, I can take this. Why would I want, I can examine the soap. Hmm, yup. Original suds, clean dishes. 25% extra, what a great deal. We are just gonna, we're just gonna leave that on the floor. Okay, there's a lot of crap here that I can take that I don't think I need to take. 
Very interesting. Okay, can I take my backpack? I feel like that's something I should... Nope, we're just gonna open my door and take my backpack. All right, so we need to head west towards the fireworks. They shouldn't make this too difficult to find. I'm gonna kick the shit out of some teenagers. What's that noise? The trees? It sounded like a jaguar or something. Can you tell it's my first day on the job when I'm walking through the woods with my map in my face, my compass in my other hand, and I'm looking for jaguars in, like, <laughs> the North American forest? Oh, God. Okay, is that... There it is. There we go. We can get we can get rid of all this shit. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right. What did she say the password was again? Password? Something stupid like that? All right. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now, what do we get? Oh, we can... Write stuff down from our map. Oh, so we must be able to find these all over the place and update our map to figure out where we are, find like new things to do. Um, what is this? Oh shit, I didn't want to drop that. Give me give me that note back. I want to read that. Examine. Ron. Hey man, guy. Couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Find one of those bars you like found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park. Uh, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Okay, that's that's cool, dude. So there's a bar here. Okay. Should I I can I can eat it, I can examine it, or I can drop it. Let's eat it. Cause screw that guy. And there's a pine cone. We can examine the pine cone. Yep. That's a pine cone is making jaguar noises. Okay, we're gonna put it back in the box. I'm gonna close the box. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave all the ones that I've looked in open. Ah, the rope! The one thing I actually needed. Deal with whoever is setting off those fireworks. Alrighty then. So, the fireworks were which way? I think they were... Mmm... Medicine wheel. The hell is that? Where is... Where's the fireworks? Where am I supposed to go? West, I think it was, right? You know what? Screw the map. Screw the compass. I'm just gonna follow the sound of fireworks. Uh, R to toggle jogging thing. Now you tell me. God, that would have been useful. Maybe I lose energy and that's why I shouldn't be jogging all the time. That's why I ate the bar. Um, is this where I need to use the rope? This view. Oh, I can I can talk to her. Oh, cool. This vista is incredible. There really is a whole lot of nothing out here, huh? There really is a whole lot of nothing out here, huh? Well, nothing civilized, no. It's a good thing, Henry. You like it. Cool, so I get to like interact randomly with uh, Delilah over stuff that I find. That's neat, I really like that. Okay, so I think we're getting closer. I can hear bottle rockets going off, jogging. I really want to play this in third person for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, um, that that's probably not good. Claws? Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Freddy Krueger? There are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Do they fight the jaguars? Okay, that would have been good to know before I took the job. Um, space to hop over. I don't think I need to hop over this too desperately right now. We're just gonna keep going. I think I'm getting close. I can- I can hear them. That looks like a stump. I'm guessing I can wrap my rope around that because I haven't used it. Yeah, rope hook. Attach rope. Okay. Um... Sh oh, I see. It's a shale slide, so it's just all loose rock and I would fall down otherwise. Throw that on there, throw that down there, and I'm a regular Paul Bunyan. We're just gonna repel. There we go. Whoop. Easy peasy. I have legs like tree trunks. Why is, it, why is the sun going down as soon as- Ow, shit! Am I dead? Break my spine? It's gonna be like 28 days later. Nope. I'm good. I'm okay. I am gonna kick the shit out of those teenagers. I'm seriously gonna report climbing accident. Okay, ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Thanks, Delilah. <laughs> well, be more careful. If it's gonna break, then you know, 
Just don't die. I don't have. Oh, wait, what? Uh, hey, there's a tie off point off here just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Okay, so that's their way of having it be an open world, but I technically can't go down there because I need more ropes. I'm guessing there's more. God damn it, I wish shift was run. Um, report meadow. You know what? I'm gonna call this one in. Hell of a nice camping spot. These cliffs down here are something. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. Um, hell of a nice camping spot. Hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'll report this meadow for being too damn nice. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Yeah, thanks. I think I, I think I found some stuff. Uh, let's hear a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Damn teenagers. Are you fucking serious. Yep. Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. Yeah, I'm gonna beat up some teenagers. Mm, you know what? Can Fuck I... it. I'm not the maid. <laughs> cool. Examine. Red Eagle, brewed in Wyoming. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna make more of a mess if anything. <laughs> we see some other stuff around here. Um, nothing over here. I'm hearing some some bass. Uh. There's stuff over here, though. Backpacks? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Uh, I kind of want to fuck with them, though. Oh, are you kidding me? They left a fire going? Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Guess so. Can we stomp it out? There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> Hello. Um. You left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent I'll be stuff. taking that. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. <laughs> All the easier oh, to beat. Or Irish. Drop. Examine. Ooh, or save for. No, 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 no. Save for later. Save for later. Let's let's inspect. I don't want to throw it. Right now. I don't. I do need this in my life right now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I thought I was going to throw and break it. Okay, yeah, we got some fireworks here to lie up. and try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay, I can do that. Confiscated. So I'm just going to drink, get drunk and launch fireworks. We have a couple. Maybe they aren't uh, just a bunch of rowdy teenagers. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I guess. So am I going to pick a fight with some naked teenagers? That seems old here. Um, Delilah, I need uh, need some uh, assistance. A, a nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I will try. Can I examine? <laughs> what? I can't save for later. Oh, well. What else have we got here? Pair of panties. Okay, we're gonna uh, report the underwear. Are, uh, panties. <laughs> panties. I don't want to say that word again. Why? Cause you're twelve. <laughs> Listen, Delilah. Don't touch those. That that's that's not safe. Okay. Well then. And they're blasting music, and the sun's going down. God knows how I'm gonna get back. Oh. Well then. Uh, yes. Um, there are two naked women. Forget it. I should head back. There are two naked ladies out here. I love that the music stops as soon as I say that. Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two. Yeah. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. They're gonna lose their shit seeing an old man in the woods just come across them naked. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like a, the murderer here. Where's the music? What the hell? Where's the music coming from? I can literally. Oh, I was like, I can hear it right next to me. Okay, you know what? Oh, hey, put that down. 
Well, you wanted me to put it down. Okay, here it is. You wanted me to put it down. Another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Yeah, get wrecked. Fuck you, psycho. Show us some titties. Fuck you. Can I go down there? Just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Oh, what? That was it? Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Oh man, I don't even get to see any titty. They just ran off. Hey, that like, go okay? Uh, I think I hear weasels doing it. Are there water weasels? It went fine. It's done. I might have got a little hot. Uh, I might, I might have, got have got a little, a little hot. hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. Okay, dealt with. So now I just need to find my way back. Two Forks Lookout, point six. Okay, so is this the way that I'm going? Hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Thanks, Delilah. Okay, well, that's good. Now I can just find my way back. This game has an autosave as well. That's good. All right, well, that went, um, that went okay. I kind of wanted to interact with them. Maybe I should have heard them out. I interrupted them when they were talking to me. <laughs> I got a little hot. I wanted to see if I could throw their stereo in the water. Turns out they can actually interact with that. We're just going to follow the street, the stream uphill. Um, should I go up there? Over there. Let's check the map. Check the old map arena. Um, I should keep following the stream. I don't want to go up there. I want to go this way. Okay, map and compass coming in more useful than you would think. I mean, we are we already knew that from Stranded Deep. I'm already a master at not getting lost, right? So how could anything go wrong, right? I'm sure that this is going to be an uneventful walk back. No problems whatsoever. So I have a bit of a confession to make. You really did kill your three husbands? Um. Anyway. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. Oh! Oh, should I... Shit! That was an ignoring thing? What do you mean? Oh, my lookout. Oh, that's my lookout. Damn it, I didn't know that. I thought that it was going to be like an awkward silence or something like that. I didn't think I was going to ignore. What's your confession? I think she actually killed her husband. I think that's what it was going to be. Shit, I'll never know. Ah, that sucks so much. That's twice now I've interrupted people and missed story, and it pisses me off. I need to be more careful. Think about what I'm going to say. Okay, so my lookout is up there, right? Did I just see it again? How the hell am I going to... Oh, it's up there. Okay, so how the hell am I going to get up there? We need to run. Um, well, I'm not climbing up there, so... This is a, a kind of confusing. I don't know how we're going to get up there. I've followed the stream the whole way down, I guess. And then hopefully find a way up eventually. Uh, did you hear that? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. By the way, what was your confession? Um, I got hit by lightning when I was nine. I'm not sure I have much of a choice. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? I don't think I wanted to know that. Okay, well, I can get hit by lightning. I don't like that she told me that, because that sounds like something that could happen. Um, a horn? Should we should we report that? There's not everything in here is useful, huh? Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why is that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. I found a flashlight. There's one <laughs> in there? Great. Well, the sun's going to go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Uh, Delilah, Delilah, I found a flashlight. She'd be like, why do I give a shit? <laughs> okay, we got that. Um, okay, F to toggle flashlight. Very good, and it works. And a cave. Of course there's a cave. Why else would it give me a flashlight? And you know what's in caves? What's in this cave down here? Bears. 
In Thunder Canyon? Or Jaguars. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... Great. So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Yeah, me and Delilah, you know, we're kind of hitting things up. Ah, danger! <laughs> Play with the caves, Echo. It's all right to hike through here. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely <laughs> fine in here. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. I already like both these character characters. Play with the echo. Play with the echo again. I bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> Can we do it more? I I just want to stay down here the whole game. Oh. You, anything else? No, you don't you don't want to hear any more from me, Delilah? Okay, fine. Let's see if I give a shit. Uh, what is this? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes Ooh. Sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Or yeah, maybe I need maybe to find them. Find another one to get your caving kicks in. Okay. Oh, so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. I never understood why Hank was short for Henry. Okay, either way, we can find a key eventually, I guess. Cool, so this is a bit of an open world, and there's some different things that I can find as we go. Maybe I can return here on my own accord. Okay, we're up. That's good. We need to be getting elevation to get back, otherwise we're just running around in circles. First step of elevation. Good, good. Let me up. There we go, elevation. Oh, what the? Who are, who's that? Guy out here. Some guy? You're not She's one of the boob teenagers. Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole Bitch. thing. Bitch. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Look, Delilah. Getting into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. You know what, Delilah? I don't need this sass right now. It's my first, my second day on the job. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I thought we were about to deal with a murderer there or something for a minute. But no, apparently he's just a creepy guy looking at me. We are in the middle of nowhere. Other than those two teenagers, which that was not either of, why would there be a dude out here? He was over here, wasn't he? Was this where he was? Well, oh, I can go up there, I can go up there. I want to kind of go up here and see what he was all about. Okay. I don't know if this is off the beaten path or if I'm screwing myself here. Oh, no. Climbing. Climbing's good. Let me up. Okay. I, I'm, a, I'm waiting to get up and pull myself up and just get whacked in the head by somebody or something. Doing some good climbing here, though. Making some progress. It is nighttime now. I have done a lot of hiking. I've done two days to get here, and then the entire first day of work. It's not easy. Like I said, I got uh, tree trunks for legs, so I can manage. Okay, so I guess that was just like a, a less climby way up. Ah, nature. Okay, uh, more climbing. This is this is eventful. This is exactly what I expected this game to be. Climbing Simulator 2016. Trail closed sign. Okay, I just saw movement. What was that? Oh, it was trees. Okay. Whew. Oh, okay. That's really Henry. Do you do you need to do that? Oh, that sign was there to stop us from going down there earlier in the game, but now that it's down, uh, we're well, good. Well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took Maybe? care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. It was blocked? I don't remember it being blocked. Maybe it's because I took the wrong path and I climbed. Uh, I saw my thing around here though, didn't I? What is this? Okay. Oh, it's my outhouse. This is where I poop. Um, I can't talk to her about my poop. What the hell is this? Wooden sign? 
I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, <laughs> as an employee of the Forest, Forest Service, Burns. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. This is what electric. Oh no, I don't want to. I want to reply. Uh, oh, man, you got to be quick. There's actually limited time for this kind of stuff. Okay. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, my hair dryer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> I really like these two. Their banter is very amusing. I want to see what it looks like when I poop. Uh, can I can I tell her about my poop? So this uh, outhouse. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, it's a true uh, story. Full disclosure. I pee wherever I want as well. That's that's not what I asked. There's a baseball here. Why would there be a baseball in my toilet? Should I put it in my toilet? I don't, I probably shouldn't do that, but I kind of want to. Whoop. Oh, come on, get in there, or backboard. Uh, yeah, synced it. Okay, hopefully this isn't important. Oh, I can, I can report it. I actually like the outhouse. What the hell? Oh, let me, let me report my, okay. I actually like the outhouse. It feels gross. Feels like I'm gonna murder when I'm in here. Okay, I wanna be, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be murdered. I can't. There we go. I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> it's true. I call for literally everything else. <gasps> I saw a butterfly. <gasps> okay, well, we made it back. Oh. Wait, what? I didn't leave you down here. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Take this back up with me, and if I see any rowdy teenagers or strange men with flashlights, they're getting a face full of typewriter. I have no doubt that could kill somebody. Oh my god, this music. Check, check your corners. Check, check your corners. I don't think there's anybody up here. Oh, you have to be kidding me. My place. God damn it. Oh, uh, how do I report vandalism? Broken. Oh, okay, I need a broken window. I see. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me see the broken window. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. <laughs> um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. What could they possibly want here? It's just a bunch of crap. Books, kettle, god damn it. Okay, uh, coffee percolator, national guide. Is there, th did they leave anything? I don't understand why Why somebody would do this. What? Okay, what is the I purpose? Okay, um, thanks, that was fast. What can they do? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the forest service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The girls at the lake, maybe the guy in the canyon. Who is out there? Maybe the girls? Uh, well, who's out there? Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning, I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I doubt some rowdy teens officially went through here. Uh, I don't, don't worry, just tell me where to find a gun. The Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? Thanks. I'll Prob see what I can do. Grenades? <laughs> it was probably because of that guy. Okay, day two. 
I'm gonna wait and see if they say anything before I end this episode because their banter is never ending. Wake up. Uh, yes. Hi, Delilah. I got my, my place sorted out a little bit. Apparently, I need to talk to her. What's up, Delilah? What do you Awake. want? Awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Mm hmm. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Yeah, the storm, my ass. Uh, there's no backup. Can I go fix it? Should I, I be worried? Be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I Did I? Didn't I just ask for help? Where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, okay more hiking. Great. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Uh huh. Yeah, of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will I think do. that's up the little Thanks, the Hank. little path of the creek, right? Uh, it's Henry. Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the little uphill path on the creek that I chose to go down the creek rather than up it, so I think I have an idea where we're going. But that's gonna be it for this episode of Firewatch, guys. I already really love this game. It is very cool. The story started off really strong. I got the feels with it. The banter back and forth is funny and just, I'm not really sure. I guess it's gonna be kind of open world. We're gonna be able to go around, find stuff, do things. I guess come across, like it seems like there's a mystery building here. We don't know who broke in. We don't know who that guy was. Don't really know a whole lot about the teenagers yet, but I'm really happy that I'm playing this game. This is awesome. So hopefully you guys are just enjoying it. You have to let me know what you think about it. And uh, you can expect another episode probably in a few days. I figure I'll probably do two episodes a week and there will be uh, four episodes in total. So look forward to that. But thank you guys for much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Blue, dirty red. It balances! It balances itself! Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Okay, I had to add another layer and I had to make it a little bit higher so it's it's slowly but surely becoming less and less bike-like. But you know what, if I can drive it without falling over... <laughs>